Good morning, my revolutionary people. My name is Nicole Graves, and we are going to talk about my story of naturally healing Asperger's, autism, autoimmune, and cancer. I didn't cure anything, but I healed a lot. So today is video number two in this series, and we are talking about aloe. So let's talk aloe. Aloe is something that I think I discovered back in 2013, 2014. So this was one of my first finds that I really, really enjoyed. Um, I battled with IBS for a long time before I got really chronically ill. So this helped me. It helped me because it helped me go to the bathroom, which is really important. You got to get that shit out, right? <laughs> I love my jokes. I love my jokes. Okay, so it's a binder and binders help absorb all the toxins in your body or the toxins Not all of them, but the toxins in your body. So aloe helps absorb the toxins from your digestive tract and It also relaxes the muscles of your digestive tracts and that's what helps you go poo. So if you have something like ulcerative colitis something where you have diarrhea all the time you probably shouldn't take it I'm not quite sure be careful is all I'd have to say. Once again, let me put in my little warning. I'm not a not a medical professional. I did not go to school for all the any of this. I just read a lot and did some stuff and it worked. So here we are, okay? So aloe is something I've taken for years. I take it on and off. It's not something I've taken recently because since being on the carnivore diet, I just really don't have any problems going to the bathroom and that was mainly what I used it for. And if you've ever been on a carnivore diet, you know, like the first, I don't know, three months or so, you don't really need help going to the bathroom. And I still really don't need help going to the bathroom. It's not something I really do often because there's not a lot of waste. So it's not, aloe's not really a part of my life anymore, but it used to save me so much when I was a vegetarian and I ate a lot of fiber. Ooh, fiber, it hurts, it hurts. And I'm sure there's a lot, of, a lot of you out there who don't even realize that the fiber is hurting you because you've never tried giving it up. Because everybody says fiber is good for you. But when you're chronically ill, your gut bacteria is out of whack. So you got to kill off the bad bacteria and fiber is feeding that bacteria. So take the aloe if you're going to eat the fiber and you're chronically ill. Let's see what else do I have in my notes here. Oh, it puts your tummy at ease. You can take liquid or pills. I started with the pills and then I found the liquid. I really enjoyed the liquid. Like if you ever have any kind of stomach, like, I don't know, if you ever have a tummy ache, it helps. It like puts it at ease right away. But I really ended up liking these high potency pills that I would get from the place I used to get colonics at. I used to do that when I was in Vegas. I haven't done that probably in like five years or so. But yeah, so aloe, it's great. Great for after eating. Dosages change depending on your digestion and your diet. Um, it's not really a lot to say about that one. Aloe, give it a whirl. It's pretty cheap, it's natural. People have been using it for thousands of years. My revolutionary people, try aloe. We'll talk again soon.